Moshi Moshi my Gamers and welcome back to Honkai Star Well. A new journey is about to begin in Peniconi, the planet of festivities. Enjoy your vacation in the Guild of Dream. Today, we'll be attending a trailblazer mission going to our next planet. Before we start, we got 10 free pulls. And then everything else, there's this thing, we got a vent going on. This I'll do later for content, this will do, this and this. I'm gonna check how much pity I have. I'm on 60 pity, so let's give it a pull. So that's one pull at a time. That's no five star, that's a four star so far. Okay. There's nothing still. I want black swan. Choke me, mother! That's a five star. Hey! That actually worked! I was joking, by the way! And the four star looks so cute. That was surprisingly easy to get, honestly. I mean, I did try to get. I did try to get um Bwanyan before, but she didn't come home, so that's fine. This innocent scary boy is just staring at me with a soul. Look at them dies. Everything. Everything. <laughs> now she would be on my team, but since she's a low HP, for now I'm gonna keep as my previous team for now. So by next episode you'll see we using her. So content wise, we're gonna do this play trial thing we're gonna do next, so I'm gonna be black swan for this. Her play style, I'm interesting about this. How does it do? Ice. Dodge lady! She's stuck a callous user. And she is wind. Ooh, look at all those. I'm not gonna read all of that. I'm gonna I'm just gonna attack how it goes. What's wrong? Everyone's a customer. You think so? I'm gonna save my attacks. Boom. The threads of destiny aren't chosen. Okay, what's your E ability? The seal of ill fate descends. <laughs> Damn. Okay. You gonna touch heal? Try some extra attacks. That's impressive. We're just having fun. Yes, we are. <laughs> you got attacking me mostly. Oh, it's like those. It's like those always zodiac cards. That's what it looks like. <laughs> like your fate decides what you're gonna say next, so you're dead. That is impressively amazing. Ouch. What are you waiting for? Explode. The customer is king. And for me. Oh, I should have waited for those shield disappears. I should have waited. What did I wait? But oh, that's okay. Again, the ill tiny manifest. What's your all? Let's see how it goes. Beneath the silent waters. Slide endless abyss. What the fuck? <laughs> God damn, that could have been me. And that was a lie about her saying dummy expansion. Damn it. Moving on, I'm gonna attack. Okay, strike you. Boom. Do that. Just having fun. Okay, take it down. I mean, actually, if she really did say dummy expansion, she could have said it earlier. I think this didn't say it's because I said. Oh, you say I pressed it too early for the same thing. The way she sits down, the ability. It's like she actually floats. It's like she's like, hmm, what should I do? Just attack. Huh. Take this. Time for a favor, the bigger. Okay, I'm gonna sing at you. Explode! With that nuke. Sounds like more business. <laughs> yeah, take the ability. You almost done. Oh, woohoo! That was impressive. Actually, I'll I'm gonna do more times here for all season. For all's way, let's give it a C. Memories are ever changing. Okay, she does not say it. Okay, we're done. My guess is someone put an AI voice make a sound she said it. That is just so sad. But at the same time, it would have been funny. Hey hey, hey hey! <laughs> Dang Han being so silent. What's up? Are we ready to the next stop? We should look like the web drop is all so complicated. But as the express conductor, I have three things I want to stress before we departed. That's why I'm here to say this little express meeting too. All right then, you know the rules. Time we'll to head meet to the in next the stop. Poncho car. Let's meet up with everyone in the parlor car. Go speaking. Yeah, the white they're setting. Um, I've been here first before all of all. Pom Pom's not here yet. <laughs> Pom Pom knows how to keep people on the edge of their seats. <laughs> Apologies for the delay, dear passengers. Something important came up, so I, the conductor, had to spend some time preparing. 
Huh? Preparing, you said. Okay. Um, it's well for Tikudonto to make an announcement. Yeah, what was so important? I thought everyone knew. Our next destination is the planet of festivities, Panacone. I know everyone's eager to disembark and get to that famous stellar hotel. But before we set off, I should remind everyone of three things. Yeah. First, Panacone is located in Astana, a star system brimming with memoria, which has historically been one of the macro voids that leaked out from the memory zone. Even after eons, the memoria concentration up ahead is above normal levels. Usually this wouldn't be a huge problem, but everyone's different, so if you exhibit any signs of dizziness, hallucination, distorted memories, or any other symptom, you should take them seriously. Second, Panacone is a colony belonging to the Harmony family. It also marks the first time this family has extended a public invitation to other factions. Please remember that the Express has been invited as a guest, and that we must adhere to any and all regulations. Got it. When in Rome, as they say. <laughs> Don't worry, Conductor. We definitely won't embarrass the nameless. Rome? Uh, anyway... Third and final, rather than being a request, Pom Pom has a favor to ask of everyone. If you could, I hope that while you're all on vacation, you could spare some time to help inquire about a few of the nameless. Hmm, are we getting new crewmates? Uh, allow me to explain. Just like most of the worlds that the Express calls at, Panacone is one of the stops along the Silver Tracks. Several millennia ago, it was an IPC frontier prison, and it was the trailblaze that connected it to thousands of stars. During that time, the Astral Express once visited Panacone. As with all meetings, they inevitably lead to goodbyes. As the Express's logs indicate, it seems some passengers decided to call Panacone their permanent home. Hmm. Um. Okay. Um, it's been so long. Will we still be able to find them? Don't worry. Just think of it as returning to your hometown. Following the Express's departure, the Stellarons cut off contact to myriad worlds, and Penacone's ownership switched hands several times. Why did these nameless choose to stay here? How did the course of their subsequent lives unfold? And what legacies did they leave behind? Retracing our predecessors' footsteps. That is in itself an adventure. Wouldn't you agree? Even if they left the stars behind them, their trailblaze would not be over. That's also what the conductor thinks, isn't it? According to the passenger list, the three people who got off were Tiernan, Legwork, and Rosalina, the Express's guard, mechanic, and surveyor, respectively. No supplementary details are available. Uh, just names and occupations? And they don't even sound like they're real names, either. This will be like looking for a needle in a haystack. We'll just leave it to the stars of fate. Considering the Nameless's diversity, perhaps we might even stumble upon their descendants. Or against the slimmest of chances, the very individuals themselves. We'll conclude today's navigation meeting on this point. There's a bit of time left before we jump. In the meantime, it might be a good idea to double check your bags. I'll broadcast an announcement before we jump. There's still some time before the jump. I should talk to everyone. Listen to the is a piece of broadcast. Wait, what is that? So that's one, two, three, four. Huh? Where's the broadcast? Um, okay, is it here somewhere? No, that's the guest book. Uh, that's where Himiko is. Is it right here? No. Is it this? It's just some music. Oh, okay, yeah, I know where it was. Okay. Play, play, play. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the Interastral Peace broadcast. Just pretend to down. Good evening. Speak faster. Welcome to a new episode of Interastral Peace broadcast. We are here to bring you the latest news from across the galaxy. The IPC and the Sienzhou Alliance have renewed their trade agreement, bringing great economic benefits to both parties. 
the head of the armed archaeologists of the Intelligentsia Guild, Alan Jones, personally oversaw the excavation of the ancient tomb of Emperor Rupert the First. The ruins rank as a category Omega. Oh, it's been a while. Index. Renowned songstress Robin has received an invitation to perform at Penacone's Charmony Festival. The Garden of Recollection has gathered memoria fragments from the lost world of Moonshield. The precious memories of this world will not be forgotten. Let's take a closer look at the details. Regarding the IPC and the Sienjo Alliance, the Sienjo La Fu has opted to renew the trade agreement. The agreement will help to open up markets and promote cooperation between the two sides in agriculture, industry, medicine, and culture, laying a solid foundation for a free, open, and prosperous business environment. At the signing of the agreement, friendly talks were held between Madame Yukong, Skyfaring Helmmaster of the La Fu, and a representative of the IPC's Marketing Development Department. The two sides reached a consensus on various issues, including the impact of interstellar security on the free market. The IPC also expressed their heartfelt concern for the law food regarding the recent invasion by the Antimatter Legion and sent their condolences to the victims. The IPC strongly condemns the barbaric atrocities committed by the Antimatter Legion and conveys the Amber Lord's wish for preservation to all worlds ravaged by that wretched force. Emperor Rupert I left many horrific relics across the universe, and one of them, the Mechanical Emperor II, has captivated the interests of countless people since its discovery. The excavation of the tomb is led by the head of the armed archaeologists of the Intelligentsia Guild, Alan Drake One-Armed Jones, with assistance from Genius Society member Skrulum. It is hoped that the excavation of this metallic relic, which holds a category Omega ranking on the Potential Disaster Index, will finally shed a light on its mysterious nature. According to records of the Emperor's deeds left behind by the Inorganic Legion, the original purpose of the site was to house the inventions inspired by the imagination of Rupert I. A spokesperson for the Intelligentsia Guild said, We have no way of knowing what amazing discoveries Jones will uncover, but we are hopeful that his findings will further our understanding of the Emperor and help save the universe from the horrors that he will bring with him when he returns. The Interastral Peace broadcast will be covering this story throughout the excavation. Penacony, the planet of festivities, announced that it will invite renowned singer Robin to perform at the Charmony Festival. Once every Amber Era, countless followers of the Harmony will attend this long-held tradition of the planet of festivities and together pray for a brighter and better future for the universe. Robin is a superstar whose voice is known throughout the cosmos. She has been the recipient of many top awards. It is believed that during the celebrations, Robin will sing a hymn for the Eon of the Harmony in the name of the family. The IPC will broadcast the entire event, sending the sounds of music and good wishes to worlds far and wide. As we all know, the Garden of Recollection has always been committed to the restoration of lost civilizations, igniting the spark of revival across the cosmos. According to reliable sources, thanks to the efforts of the Memo Keepers, all memoria fragments of the dead world of Moonshield have been salvaged. Moonshield was destroyed during an invasion by the Antimatter Legion, but with the combined efforts of the IPC and the Garden of Remembrance, the collection of information about the fallen world was recently declared a success. The Memo Keepers planned for it to be reborn in the pristine land of the Remembrance. The destruction can destroy any material thing, but it can never take away our hope. 
the IPC will provide whatever support and protection within its means for the long-term development of all civilizations across the universe, including those that have perished. And this is the end of our broadcast. Please tune in for our next episode. Thank you for listening. Damn, that took a while, I think. Thank you. Music is... Is it done? I've been saying it for a while. That seems done. Peaceful prime time. Okay. Yeah, I know, Missy. That took a while. It's like, Jesus Christ. That took a while. How's it going? All packed and ready? There probably won't be any surprises happening on family territory, which is a bit of a shame if you ask me. But hey, it's rare that we can take a break and let loose. Let's enjoy it. Yes. Hmm, you look relaxed. <laughs> well, adventures are exhilarating, but rest and recuperation is equally important. Rest and recuperation aside, don't forget Pom Pom's request. <laughs> the conductor has done plenty for us, and it's time to return that favor. Oh, yes. Okay, um, actually, before we continue, let me go to achievements. We did one, one. I mean, I'll do this. What happens if I didn't do that? And it oh yes, every update we get more of these crystals. This can be so funny. Himiko, you're the picture of calm as always. Meanwhile, March seventh, buzzing around like a kid on a sugar rush. Hmm. Of course, I'm a mature adult type. Not really. <laughs> Punchline with a straight face. I suppose that's your specialty. But regarding the family's invitation. I do have some details that I wish to discuss with everyone, just not now. Let's enjoy our vacation for now. Oh yes, vacation with family. Um, I'm gonna go to Dayhan first. This is Dayhan's room. Hey! Ah, I spoke to Mr. Yang. I'll be staying on the express this time. I wish you all a delightful time in Penacony. Damn it, boy! You should come with us. It's such a good opportunity. Thank you. I appreciate the invitation, but I don't like bustling places. And <laughs> someone has to handle the work on the express. Pay no mind to the matters concerning the Xianzhou. Penacony isn't the final stop on our trip. We have plenty of time. Once everything is packed up, I will naturally catch up with all of you. Um, I'd advise double checking your bags. Word is that the family's customs procedure can be quite demanding. Better to sort it out now than face issues at your hotel check-in. Good idea, actually. And uh, was this store closed on its own? I mean, obviously it would. Marge. Oh, look at this dark womb here. Let's go. Uh, camera, check. Extra clothes, check. Toiletries. Aw, Drad! The travel bottles I ordered haven't arrived. Although, I hear that Penacony's resort hotel is pretty luxurious. I'm guessing their toiletries should be just as fancy. <laughs> that means I can make more room in my suitcase. What else should I bring? Hmm. Uh, take me. <sighs> you won't fit in the suitcase. Can't you walk? I'm lazy. Uh, maybe I should bring some novels or comic books. At least then I won't be too bored while staying in the hotel room. These books are so heavy. Aw, this is hard. What else should I take? It's about time. I should find a seat. Hmm, yeah, time to move to our next destination. Oh, bubbles! Should I fix your voice? Um, I think we'll be good. Yeah, let's leave it alone. We're good, we're good, we're good. Oh my god, what now? Is that broadcasting? Welcome to the Interastral Peace Broadcast. Good evening, everyone. Um, should I listen to that or just... Good should I sit and wait or just... Welcome to a new episode of Interastral Peace Broadcast. We are here to bring you the latest news from across the galaxy. This is Boy Missing Yang. Shh! 
the IPC okay, okay. and the Xianzhou Alliance have renewed their trade agreement, bringing great economic benefits to both parties. Wait, is it the same thing? The head of the armed archaeologists of the Intelligentsia Guild, Alan Jones. It's the same thing, actually. I'm gonna sit down. Hi, hello, we hear you. The express is about to make the jump. The express is about to make the jump. Please be seated and hold on. Especially March. The train is about to make the jump. Five, four, three, two, one. Eh? Huh? Where am I? What just happened? What just happened? Like, what the hell just happened? Um, March? Daihon? <laughs> not another one. You look like mad, but you're not really mad, though. We know that. Come with me. But most will admit it. That is not mad. Just because the clean designs? First of all, who the fuck are you? These questions have no meaning, but I will answer you as best as I can. This is the border between reality and the memory zone, a dreamscape. Right this moment, you and I have coincidentally shared the same dreamscape and appeared in each other's minds. This is the Land of Dreams inaugural welcome for us. Worry not, for very quickly you will awaken from this dream. Forget everything that has transpired with naught but a faint lingering of loss. Pay no mind, for this forgetfulness happens with each new dawn. It is an occurrence that we have become accustomed to for so long. So, come with me. I'll take you home. Okay... Left, to the end of the corridor. I will wait there for you. Um, what if I did the opposite? She goes, like, Bitch, you must go to the left. Hold on, this place looks interesting. Can I see it? And said, Wait, what is this especially, though? You guys see that? Yeah. Do way, out of way. Wait, what? Wait. I'm not there. Turn back. No! What if I keep going? <laughs> and she goes, like, Bitch! Oh, it doesn't open. Okay, fine. Hold up, let me check every doorway. Eh, doesn't close. I mean, Galaxy Ranger Acheron. Doesn't open. Doesn't open. This open. Call me. You can call me whatever you want. Some of these bubbles and these suitcases. Oh, okay. Open this door. Take a look at the mesmerizing dreamscape. Well, you can still remember. Dreamscape. This is... Uh, no way. Yeah... This way. Chill for a second. Oh my, what is going on here? After you. Am I supposed to walk up the wall? Come on, I was like, I was wrong then. You could say that. How is this even possible? What the actual fuck? Why not? She can hear the thoughts in my head? Yes. Why not? Is that Dr. Wish I see in the corner? We're almost there. Can you still walk? Mmm. Now I am become Trailblaze, the Paula Bolty toy of walls. <laughs> you're funny. If you can crack jokes, you're probably fine. Don't stop. Don't turn back. Don't look down. Or up, for that matter. Yeah, that's Dr. Wish, all right. These voices. They are just shadows of the dreamscape. Pay no heed to them. What? Can I listen for a second? Ah, the charming audacity. To think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear Gamber. <sighs> Three chips are enough. All or nothing. Who was that with Dr. Wishio? 
Oh, but Bronyon's here? I'll get you for a second. Hold up. Who are these people? The Charmony Festival stage belongs only to you, little sister. But if I can't sing, what meaning does a stage have? Huh. Okay, Bronyon. How do you intend to I mean, Silver Wolf. I'm missing Silver Wolf Bronyon just because it looks exactly the same. All we have to do is present the truth, and they will naturally reciprocate. Okay, who's who is Silver Wolf talking to? She's like, you think you're sweet as time, boy? I'm talking to people. It's two new characters in the Black Swan that came home with me. Ha 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 ha! From saying choke me. Do you think you can just leave? I'm sorry. The dance partner of my choice. I've already chosen. Hmm, chosen you say? I was taking my sick time. Sorry about that. What the hell is going on now? Okay. Dip seems like a horror show now. Um, We're here. Uh, can I stay here? Welcome to the Reverie. May you experience an unforgettable holiday. Uh, <clears throat> if you need help checking in, please head straight to the concierge. Leave this realm and rise as you would on any other day. Forget this fortuitous encounter and return whence you came. But before you do, I would make a request of you. You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude, but I wish to know. Yeah, Have go on. Somewhere before. Mm. Perhaps we have. You evoke memories of an old friend. In the haze of my recollections, he crossed blades with me. Much like this surreal dreamscape where we stood close yet forever out of reach. Oh, yeah, yeah memories. Questions. I tend to forget things. Which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. The answer is inconsequential. Your spontaneous reaction is what matters. For instance, when you awaken in your room, your lips speak several names. Are they your companions? Family? Enemies? You seem to have forged unbreakable bonds with many people and many incidents. Might I ask if you fear losing these bonds? Well... Hmm... Okay... Um, if I mean losing them, I would... Of course, yeah! That's common! Hmm... Then... If there was a vast dreamscape, so lifelike it's indistinguishable from reality... There, no one faces life's separations or deaths... Everyone attains their deserved happiness and lives joyfully ever after. I would ask, would you wish to stay? Hmm. Um. Hmm. I mean, I know you can say anything, but let's see. I would never want to live in a dream. That depends on the price I have to pay. If I didn't have to pay any prices, I would. I would. No matter the cost. Hmm. Uh, it sounds like in the background. I'm gonna pick the bottom one. Now, imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers, followed by the gentle breeze, soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself. Everyone and every face they remember. The joy and the heartaches, the vows sealed and those left hanging, all will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. If you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception, I would ask, would you still embark on this journey? Hmm. 
Um, let's see. I will abandon it. The price is too deal. I will abandon it. I have already tasted the beauty of dreams. I will abandon it. Traveling was never my intent. Why was I in dark here? I will blaze the trial without hesitation. I know this is hard. You don't have to be hard pressed to make a decision. As I have said, the answer is inconsequential. Hearing, touch, thought. Through these, you gain emotions. Cherish them. With emotions, we make choices. And so we return to the original question. I would ask And? Do you still remember me? Mm, I seem I seem to remember you from somewhere. Huh. There's not a correlation, but I know from the beginning we lost all of these memories and such. So, uh, I'm going to have to say the top one actually, just to be safe and sound, you know. <laughs> I understand. How interesting. For a split second, it felt like countless versions of you, alike yet distinct, gave entirely different responses. That was my final question. Thank you. We all have our paths to walk, so we shall bid our farewells. Hmm. You haven't told me how to leave this fucking place. The Golden Dream is getting restless. In the coming nights of long, I'm afraid you will face many tribulations and witness many tragedies. And finally, your sight will only see black and white. But please believe me that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, it will reappear before you once more. What you must do now is ponder its significance. Uh. And then you can return to the waking world. <laughs> That's where we all find our answers. <sighs> It'll dream. Okay. I mean, was it terrifying? I mean, I could say it is, but... What's wrong? Why are you crying all of a sudden? <laughs> I saw Kafka. She died! <laughs> okay, anyways, I'm moving on. Uh, uh, I may have a dream of an old friend. Sounds like you had a nightmare. We just arrived in Astana and already... Uh, you should be careful. It seems your tolerance to Memoria isn't the strongest. Don't fret. Dreams are often the reverse of reality. While you were sleeping, the Express arrived at Penacone. Can you imagine? Yesterday's grim frontier prison is today's lavish hotel. I wish I could wander Penacone streets today, but I'm pretty train tied at the moment. You'll have to be my eyes and ears while we're here. Gear up and make sure you've thought everything. And before you step out, swing by the back and grab March. She's waiting for you there. Is oh. March 7th still packing her luggage? She has a lot. She's like, go! You still packing? I'm trying to get everything ready, boy! Just just trying to get my outfits, my um all of my kid dresses, the slutty ones too. You have those too? Um, I didn't say I didn't say what I said. Hmm, yes you did. You did. Oh wow, well, you can see that from the outside window. Holy shit, that's amazing. Not talk too much. <laughs> You're up? How's your prep going? Walt and Himeko beat us to the punch. But I stuck around for you. Let's get going. <gasps> Shall we go meet up with them now? I'm ready to go. Penacone, the planet of festivities. The universe's biggest and fanciest amusement park awaits. She's like my bestie. That's what I'm calling it. Bestie. Oh my. Look at Damn, the hotel's big. Sure doesn't play around with their entry protocols. Our bags probably.
probably know what it feels like to be a celebrity now with all that attention. I wouldn't have put it past them to try and nab that Stellaron from inside you. Uh, the Stellaron is stable. Uh, aside from that, I have to say the family has been really accommodating. Well, the hassle was worth it. Just look at this grand hotel lobby and those endless rows. They're all rooms, right? Just think of the number of guests staying here. <laughs> Where are our rooms? Come on, Mr. Yang and the rest must be at the front desk. Let's hurry up and meet them there. Welcome to the Reverie. May you experience an unforgettable holiday. Uh, <clears throat> if you need help checking in, Please head straight to the concierge. We saw you in my dream. Do you look at- No, let's not- Let's get all be sus about, um, you in my dream. Like, that's kind of weird. Do you look at this hotel? I mean, obviously. I'm Nisha, a bellboy working here on Penacony. Pleased to be at your service. If you need help with your baggage- I could be wrong. Is this Bennett VA who is also Central VA in this character? you need assistance with moving luggage to your room, feel free to contact me. Uh, please, go ahead. Don't keep your friend waiting. I don't know if it's voice actor that's who I think it is, or it's someone else that hey, sounds familiar. What's gathering at the concierge about? <laughs> We've just arrived and there's already drama? Hold on, make sure- Okay, yeah, I gotta make sure my team's like- So- You said drama, March? I'm sorry, but your name really isn't in the system. But in the information I received from the Astral Express, it states that we already reserved rooms. Please, check again for me. Yes, ma'am. Please give me a moment. The Astral Express, four platinum guest rooms, whose names include Mr. Welt Yang, yes. Ms. Himiko, Ms. Yes. Mark Seven, mm -hmm. and Mr. Don Hung. These are the only four names on the reservation list. What's my name? And yes, I'm Mr. Dang Hung reporting for duty. Dang Hung. That's not me, but I'm just joking. I... I understand. No wonder our friend's name here is missing. When we responded to the family's invitation, he hadn't even arrived on the express. Uh, something came up in Dang Hung's schedule, and he couldn't make it. I have an idea. Uh, could you reassign his room? It's still the same number of people. He's a new passenger aboard our Astral Express. We can vouch for his status. I... Even if that is so, I'm afraid... Uh, Shell Chubb is a profile. No, I'm not doubting your status. It's just... Hmm, what's even going well, it's on? It's just that right now, we're on the eve of the Charmony Festival. Pentagoni's most important moment of every Oh year. my. And with the family's invite... All guests from all over the cosmos have thronged this place. Oh, hotel security is on high alert with zero room for error. And with such a last minute change, it really isn't something that this young lady's words can resolve on a whim. My esteemed guests from the Astral Express, please do not make it harder for her. We're sorry for all the trouble our check-in seems to have caused. Might I ask for your name? I am the humble aventurine of the IPC Strategic Investment Department, a non-performing asset liquidation specialist and subordinate to Supervisor Diamond. I was cordially invited by the watchmaker. <laughs> I also happen to be a traveler that's had to stand behind you for quite a while. Leave it to me. <sighs> I've heard that the IPC has also received Penacone's invitation. So forgive me if I'm mistaken, but you must be the representative. The IPC's elite certainly does have an extraordinary air about them. I suppose such an exceptional figure such as yourself wouldn't mind paving a convenience for us? I, I must be hearing things. Paving a convenience? Shouldn't I be saying this to you instead? I've been waiting here for more than 10 minutes. Do you know how many credits 10 minutes is worth to me? It must be an inordinate number, 
Which is why now, Mr. Aventurine, I have an investment that you absolutely cannot miss out on. The IPC's influence runs deep and wide, and their word wields the utmost authority. We hope to borrow your status to vouch for him. As such, you won't just be sparing much of your invaluable time, but also forging new friendships. <laughs> well, this is interesting. And how will my new friends benefit me? Now this is a topic very much worth getting into. Just as we are guests of the Watchmaker, why don't we make ourselves comfortable in Penicone before getting to know each other more elaborately? <laughs> Sounds good. But, Miss Navigator, I must point out that if I do something about it now, the time saved is from my own effort, not a favor from you all. <sighs> but, what you said in the second half, I loved it. Friends, yes, nothing is more precious than friends. Especially a righteous trailblazer like a nameless. Going forward on this Pentagony trip, I'll be counting on all my trailblazer friends here. Looking forward to a delightful time with you all. I'm glad you've put it this way. So about the vouching... There you go, miss. Please allow him to check in on my account. I have an appointment with the family's Mr. Sunday. I will ask him to handle this matter later. Don't worry. I won't cause you any trouble. Um, but... Ali, just... just a moment. Just but I said! The family cannot allow guests to enter a dream while bearing burdens. Oh, speak of the devil. Look who's here. The two it's buds! The most handsome man in Pentagon. Along with a singer renowned across the universe. Robin. We saw them in that dream. That's crazy. You said you were the most dashing person in Penicone. How interesting. I've kept you waiting, Mr. Aventurine. This way, please. Let us speak in private. Astral All of us? Yes. Please come this way and rest your feet. Got it. Wait, what? You're... Yes, it's a bird! What are you thinking of this, Mike? Oh, wait a minute! I'm sorry, but are you... THE... The singer! Epsilon Superstar! If I can stop one heart from breaking, that's your song, isn't it? I never thought a cutie like yourself would be a fan of mine. She is breathtaking on this one. Oh, it really is, Robin. To run into her in person here! It is an honor to meet everyone. Are you also a member of the family on Penicone, like him? <laughs> Truth be told, I am a guest like everyone. Penicone is my hometown, but I left when I was older. I was graciously invited this time to return and sing a song at the Charmony Festival. The person you speak of is Sunday, my senior, and one of the local leaders at Penicone. He is also the organizer of this era's Charmony Festival. He heard you all ran into some difficulties, and sent me here to provide aid. Alas, I arrived a little later than usual. I sincerely apologize for any unpleasantness during your stay. Uh, please, be at ease. I have instructed Miss Ally to resolve the system error as soon as possible. I have also upgraded your rooms as token compensation. Please wait a moment for the hotel to arrange for suitable accommodation. Hmm. Mr. Aventurine has an appointment with the Oak family, and has checked in prior. On his behalf, I extend his apologies to everyone of the Astral Express, and wish for an amicable partnership moving forward. Thank you for stepping in to resolve this matter. But are you sure about the rooms? I wouldn't want your other guests to feel we were being given preferential treatment. Please, rest assured that the family will personally undertake communications to handle this. It is only right that we, as the actual administrators, relieve you of any problems during your visit in Penacone. I apologize for taking up everyone's precious time, and we shan't keep you any longer. If you need anything else while in Penacone, the family stands ready to serve. May our dreams be beautiful and pleasant. Okay. Oh, it's just one surprise after another! But since that Mr... 
Which day was he? Sunday. Uh, Sunday. Uh, since Mr. Sunday's vouched for us, I guess we can finally check in normally. Hmm. Uh. All's, all, all the family's names so strange. Uh, this is just a stage name. I guess. I thought so too. It's most likely some rule of Penacone's or the family's. Okay, there's no queue in the lobby now. Let's go find Miss Allie. Okay, let's go find her. Okay, Miss, excuse me, ma'am. Killer's in now. <sighs> Esteemed guests of the Astral Express, your check-in procedure is complete. <sighs> Please forgive us for any previous inconvenience caused. This is your dreamscape pass. It serves as your hotel room key, as well as a directory of all the amenities and information you require at the Reverie. It even provides smart assistance. At the same time, it is also Penacone's special one-of-a-kind souvenir that belongs only to you. You can use the Dreamscape Pass's provided clock-in feature to record every moment of your wonderful dream, save your favorite happy bits, and create a Dreamscape scrapbook that is uniquely yours. Regarding the method of usage, the Dreamscape Pass will guide you through the process. I wish you all pleasant dreams in Penacone. You may take the elevator over there to reach your guest rooms. All right, let's move out. Yeah, this is gonna be so exciting. Damn, a cartoon style. You see if any pass in the hotel wasn't open to take a look. Oh, the Dreamscape Pass is a comment installed on your phone. Check it to open it. Okay, dear Dreamcaster, Dreamcasters, welcome to Pericone. From the moment you set foot on this way, or how you say it, a splendid and dreamlike journey has always lifted the sudden. It needs to put down the hustle and buses of real life and extraordinary courage is also needed to make the choice to full hustling embrace the dream. We have the confidence to prom promise that thanks to the family's most nucleus management, only sweet nurtures and mothers to nourish your head. We wish for you to leave behind all the words that you're more to mortal life. Open the bottle of class soul glad and settle down to admire yourself in the enjoyment of Peter Connie's dreamy myself. Damn, we're gonna be all this. There's no way I'm all this! <laughs> so, revives. So, is this another story because we're doing actually? So, the book is going to be about your opinion about the story. Okay, um, another three intelligence experience is about to begin. The start of the vision about not to go place upon the white street of snow, nor the important height of the Xianfo. Aside from the widow seeking man and woman, all seems to be well. Speaking of, it appears no one has asked you a certain question. What kind of trip do you enjoy? Hmm. Hmm. Slumber day away within the womb? Follow the passage code of other. I'm picking this one. Thank you for the code one, the documentary. Okay. Oh, we got pictures? There's a few public you'll come across pictures stickers for collections. You see stickers to drug at you to pass Hancock passage. What if I want to choose a girl to be it? There you go, I'll pick this one. Wait, do I gonna be there? You be down here because you woman will always go on top. I use you, you stay next to him. Okay. Is that all? Okay. Now our womb's the hotel. A dream world. I heard that Penacone transformed the dreamscape into a majestic metropolis. What exactly would that look like? Oh, I can't wait! Hold up. How many chests? 16. Wait, oh, round is it? Really? Huh. Check it out later then. Alright, let's go to our beds. Our room is right there. Oh wow! The rooms are down this way. This is a long hallway. Is it just me, or is this hotel too big for its own good? Um, these just you, Mister Yang. He's probably thinking like, "Oh my God, this this hotel is making me dizzy. Look down from above, like, oh God, what can I?" Okay, uh, Mister Yang, you could calm the fuck down. Everything will be fine, okay? It's first thing just on the way too while we're doing this. Yeah, more chests around here. Oh, another one. Let me grab that real quick, and then we'll just keep going. We're going from there on. Grab this. Okay, now to our hotel room. 
How does that look like? It looks normal. I'm like, really? Also, we will heal in our dream. That is so strange. Oh my god, this is like deja vu now. <sighs> Did I even trust you guys? You tried to kill us back in Bellabog. I remember that. Okay, moving on. We're finally here. Let's all head to our rooms first and put down our bags. Okay, Marge. Well, how about a drink first? Penicone's Soul Glad is very famous. Oh no, he's like, am I getting drunk again? <laughs> you think? Go on. We may be thinking of the same thing. Do you remember the invite that the Express received? Uh, the family's esteemed guests are cordially invited to Benaconi to participate in our grand celebration. That's why we're here in the first place. You recall correctly, but there was more to this invite. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penaconi, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? <laughs> I don't remember that part of the invite. You mean there was a, a hidden message? This is yeah. the part that intrigues me. The invite sent by the family was nothing more than a music box that, when wound, would play an accompanying tune. But the box that was sent to us was slightly... unusual. The music it played had off-key notes in the background. I recorded these dissonant notes, and they were a perfect match with the gravity wave frequency when the Express made its warp jump. Also, the Express Engine's spatial curvature was its encryption key. A distress call method regularly used by the Nameless. I can't be certain. It may be a masked fool's trap. From the execution itself, the Riddlers or Inquisition spirits could have done this themselves. When did you discover this? When we were handling that Law Fu Stellaron matter. I told Pom Pom about it first thing. It's no wonder that IPC Ambassador also mentioned this watchmaker. The invite he received must also have contained a hidden message, and it seems like he decoded it. There's something else on my mind. When the invite was brought up, that family leader mentioned being one of the actual administrators of Penaconi, and that it was their duty to relieve us of any problems. In hindsight, there was more to that statement. He also had Miss Robin with him. I'm no singer, but her voice sounded a little strange. Would a singer really take to the stage if their voice wasn't in top shape? Are you saying you suspect that the family did not send the invite and is hiding something from us? It's possible. The fact that the family sent out invites to the other factions is already unusual. And your discovery confirms that there could be a third party involved. I take back what I said. This event is becoming more interesting with each passing second. Why didn't you tell the others? We shouldn't interfere if this is just an internal affair of Penicone or the family. But you said so yourself. This could concern the Trailblaze. Well, I did. Which is why... Before we set off, I told March 7th and Don Hung about this. <laughs> so I was the only one kept in the dark then. Hmm. Uh, I just found out about the infinite thing. That's because you were zonked out the whole ride. No one had the chance to tell you. I was dreaming. Who sent the invite? What is the purpose of gathering all of the factions into Penaconi? And why does the family choose to remain silent about their knowledge of this? Uh, there are too many unanswered questions. We must use the utmost caution before we go deeper. Right now, let's just focus on the conductor's request. We'll collect intel while enjoying this wonderful vacation. Penaconi is, after all, a famed resort of the cosmos. Not many get a chance to even visit in their lifetime. 
Mm, it's true. Head back to your rooms, get some rest, and prepare to enter the dreamscape. Yeah, it's much. time to head back to my room. Before entering the dream, I should probably talk to the rest. Kind to actually. Uh, okay. Himiko's right there. Miss Yang's there. Where's March? She's probably upstairs, actually, already. Let's talk to him first. The decor in here is a little, uh, loud for my taste. So this is how Astral High Society does things, huh? Hmm, about the watchmaker. They say he's a historically important figure in Penaconi, and tales of his life have been handed down over generations. Such tales encourage believers to come to the planet of festivities to pursue their dreams. He's an interesting fellow, that's for sure, and his legacy still has the power to draw people in. But how and why he's involved with that invite, and why his name popped up in the encrypted message allegedly sent by a nameless, I've got no leads for now. Hmm, about the family. The family believes in the harmony, and their altruism is well known across the stars. A trait that is intimately like tied line, to like Panacone's us. stability and prosperity. But some factions have always been wary of the family, uh, suspecting that their benevolence and eloquence belie an ulterior motive. So far, it seems to me that the family treats their guests with courtesy, so... I don't think we need to worry about that for now. About the dreamy journey. The dream Penicone is divided into 12 moments. Personally, I'm interested in the moment of soul. It's a visual dreamscape steeped in Penicone's history and civilization. Penicone's Grand Museum, the Primal Waking Library, the Paperfold Academy. The pasts that we chase may be stored in these places. That's enough chit chat for now. Uh, past the guest room's dream pool is the real Panacone. Let's get ready to move out. <laughs> Pleasant dreams. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to you next. Here we go! What's wrong? Not turning in? Can't find your room? Or do you have something on your mind? Mm, let's talk first, Himiko. About the watchmakers. One can't discuss the planet of festivities without mentioning the watchmaker. Penicone's household name and figure. Fortune, fame, status. He built everyone's futures with his bare hands and became the symbol of dreams. But the veracity of these stories remains untraceable. Many have their own opinions on the watchmaker's origin and past. And there are even some who suspect he's a conceptual construct of the family. For now, I do not think this invite is linked to the Watchmaker. His legacy... It sounds more like a marketing hook to drum up more traffic, if nothing else. About the IPC representative. Uh, an IPC ambassador who knows more than he lets on. A silver-tongued businessman. A flamboyant and debonair aristocrat. He could be all of them. My instincts tell me he's much more than meets the eye. Before the dust settles, we should maintain amicable relations with all camps, while keeping our guards up. Good idea. About the dream journey. The dream Penicone is divided into 12 individual dreamscapes. I've heard that the destinations vary for different people when they first enter the dream. As for me, I look forward to the moment of scorch sand. It's wild winds, taverns, and festive choices have more of a nameless trailblaze vibe. The moment of morning dew is also a decent choice. I can use that chance to visit the family. Good idea. That's enough chicha for now. Uh, you must be exhausted from everything that's happened so far. Even if you're trailblazing, you mustn't forget to relax. Good night, and sweet dreams. Where's March 7th? Has she returned to her room already? <gasps> Just looking for the two, yeah. Like March, March. Are you in that side of the room or possibly somewhere? I got a chest. Oh yes, I did. I am looking for chests, you know, just in case. There's more on the inside. Okay, just checking around the chest around here. And chest, chest. 
Chest? Yes! Guessing. Okay. Just, that's not, damn, look at all these skeletons I'm collecting. I don't know if I'm gonna pull any more characters or not. This is all I'm pulling. Just Black Swan is the only thing I'm gonna pull for now. Okay, another chest? Yes, there is. There's probably more outside I missed, so I'm gonna collect this. Wait a minute. That's your head? Um, okay, that's kinda creepy. I'm gonna move on. Much? What? Seriously? Um, I'll check it out real quick after I get the chest real quick. Grab the chest. Okay. God. Why is my room door open? March is here somewhere. It check a thing here to from the space. Where's March? Is this her? Boom. Okay, let's talk first before anything, bestie. Where are you thinking of going? Uh, the moment of dusk, obviously. How can you not visit the shopping paradise when you're at the resort of all resorts? I'm all ready to fill my bags to the brim. Hmm, after doing my shopping, I'll get all dolled up in an evening gown to attend Miss Robin's show at Penacony Grand Theater. About Robin. You know, it's weird. Welt noticed it too, about how Miss Robin's voice sounded somewhat weary. I can't quite put my finger on it. But it was different than usual. Could she be tired out from her cosmic concert tour? Insisting on performing under such circumstances. Miss Robin is a superstar among celebrities. About the event. Here I was thinking of some good old relaxation. But nope. This event is a wild ride. The various factions deciphering the riddle. A power struggle of past legacies. It feels like we're in a live action detective saga. Who knows? Maybe we'll even witness classic scenarios like family feuds. Tragical losses. Worlds torn apart. Espionage situations. Rivers running red with blood. Stuff like that. This is simply too thrilling. Hmm. I want to see a river of wait blood. The hell? Um. I don't gonna say that. You got quite the active um, imagination. <laughs> Just kidding. How could that be possible? That's enough chit chat for now. Ah, uh, don't worry. Welt and Himeko will have our backs if things go wrong. Let's just make the most of it all while we're here. Good idea. Marge, can I sleep with you? I don't like how there's a- I don't like how there's a guy in my womb. I mean, I should do this. Get out of my womb, bitch! That's my womb! He's... Like, excuse me! How fortuitous. <laughs> we meet again. This is my womb. Uh... This is my will. What are you doing here? <laughs> Calm down. I'm just here to soak in the festive vibe. This may be your room now, but half a system hour ago, it was still mine. A lucky block number, a lucky floor, a lucky room number. You have no idea how much I went through to book this precious space. And now I've given it to you. Treasure it well, friend. Hmm. Ugh. Why would we lose him? Uh. You were the one who arranged to check in? No, no. I only let you have my room. Panacone's a true blue land of dreams. How many across the stars would spend half their lives just to acquire an admission ticket into the reverie? I mean, think about the type of people who can even afford to stay here. If it wasn't for my brilliant plan, you think the family would offend those bigwigs just to sate the paltry whims of an unsought guest such as yourself? 
So sit down and let's have a chat. With everything said and done, I think I deserve at least this much, right? Hmm. So, what do you want to talk about? Ah, cutting to the chase. <laughs> I like that. Well, simply put, my friend, I need your help. You may or may not know this, but Panacone's far murkier than it seems. The family's eyes are everywhere, but you get the drift. My goal is simple. Help the IPC retrieve some things that belong to them in the first place. If you agree, when this is done, you will stand to reap great rewards, as well as the preservation's protection. It's clear you're not just one of the crowd. You possess a distinct quality. So magnetic that it could sway the outcome of any game. That power, you really don't wish to use it. Or, you don't want to be rid of it. Why not use it to etch your name across the stars? The power that men both fear and desire is right in the palms of your hands. <laughs> Mr. Stellaron, have I hit the nail on the head? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna see how did you know, first of all. <laughs> I know now. You don't have to answer me now. Sit on it for a while. When the time is right, I will look for you again. Of course, you can confer with your colleagues as well. Or go as far as to use me in turn. I welcome that notion. Because it will also show me your true value. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. So I hope that friends don't let me down. <sighs> Okay, I will think about it. <laughs> Very well. Oh yes, before I go, let's play another game. A simple game to get to know each other better. You just have to guess which hand the chip is hiding in. It'll help me get a better grasp on your personality and the way you do things. Ding! A chip is stopped to the air, and the blink in the eye it dis it disappears. That'll Left. be the last fight. Alright. Get ready. I'm about to reveal the answer. No? I didn't get your answer. Oh, but that's fine, because... Friend. The game has already begun. Allow me to make you an offer. One you can't refuse. No reason to choose otherwise. And no other choice. Hello there. Huh? What are you doing in my room? Your room? Huh? <laughs> well played, friend. You haven't been in Panacone long, but you already know how to rope people into your car. We saw her in my dream, too. Oh, don't misunderstand. That was a mere reminder. This place runs deep with plenty of unsavory characters. Don't forget to stay on your toes. Like, keeping your door closed. <laughs> I'll make my exit now. Have a pleasant stay. You will always say? Uh... You are... <sighs> Why haven't you left? Uh... <laughs> no, let's be a bitch about it. Why haven't you left, bitch? Why do I have to? <laughs> because... Dice. Have I come to the wrong room? <sighs> this can't be. Before I said anything, I even made sure that I had the right room number. Why is the red lines? Is that... That's interesting. Do I have the wrong wing or... Even the wrong lock? <sighs> I'm sorry, this hotel is huge and... Oh, the hallways all look the same. It's easy to get lost in here. I have a strange feelings about this. Anyway, as long as you're alright. 
I should return to my room, too. But before I go, can I ask you a question? You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude. But I wish to know, have we met somewhere before? Uh... I was about to ask too. This may sound embarrassing because I would sometimes forget stuff I really shouldn't have from past experiences. It's just a habit of mine. Don't mind me. Hmm, okay. This is your name, isn't it? Pleased to meet you. Ugh. How do you know? <laughs> you forget. That man mentioned it before he left. My memory's not very good, but it's not so bad that I can't remember details from just minutes ago. Yeah, brain to mo something? Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. You can call me whatever you want. I doubt we'll meet again. Lastly, a gentle reminder. There are people who possess unwavering resolution and faith, even unto death. And they do not wield such conviction for good. And on that man's face, I see such a similar expression. One who wears a blade must use it to cut, eventually. And when a gambler has nothing to lose on the table, he will surely go for broke and bet it all on a final hand. That is all I can say. I thought you should know all this before making a choice. Goodbye. Bye Acheron for now. left. Strange. I can't shake off this odd feeling I have. Uh, forget it. It's taken a while, but at least I can finally enter the dream. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Again? Uh... It didn't take long for you again. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, can you point me in the direction of the lobby? All these hallways really look the same to me. Oh, there you go. What are you, an HGHD idiot? I don't be mean to you guys, sorry. You show her the way. She thinks you again and again. Seems like it's over. <sighs> Time to work the dream pool according to the Dreamscape Pass's instructions. Ooh, sticker. Okay, hold up. We got another woman to add. Okay. We got like how many counters? Uh, if Black Swan's uh, Black Swan better be here. If she is, she'll be in the first place. So if this percent, huh? Is that all it has for now? Okay, let me. I saw a chest. Welcome to Pinaconi, honored guest. Well, is the chest I saw in here? Was I? Very Just soon, all your dreams will. So, this is a hotel room to go sleep in. They have TV, that's pretty cool. Gotta grab this. Correct. Oh. Please step into the dream pool and let go of the sorrows hmm. and worries of life. Okay, trying to strip off. You post a dream pool and hear a sweet voice of a female singing coming, singing and coming from around the room. Following the perfect air, together these two elements elevates you in the embrace. The set is sweet, profound, and luxurious. Momentous of weep open fruit and the distant ocean painted by the horns of the sunny sun. Perhaps it's time to enter the dream. Lie down in the. Actually, no. I'm gonna stop it there, so save for another episode. Alright, I'm gonna end there. Like, subscribe, I'll see you later. Sayonara.